As to DM, that's the one that's surging away in trade after the board says it's likely to consider big dividend payout. Ekta joins us with, us in with more details. Ekta? Thanks for that. Well, yes, the news on Astadiem is that it sold its Gulf business to Fajr Capital as well as the promoters for $1 billion. This took place at the end of November. Now, there was a board meet which was held yesterday to discuss the progress and the transaction of the sale of the Gulf business. The board was briefed that there is satisfactory progress on the conditions which are precedent for the transaction and they aim to complete it soon. Now, the board uh, is also desirous to consider distribution of dividends. So, what they have said is that of around 70 to 80 percent dividend up uh, from the upfront consideration of 903 million dollars to shareholders. The consideration is in the range of 110 to 120 rupees per share, and uh, the board separately. Uh, did take note of certain questions which were received from shareholders, including proxy advisors, uh, as advisory firms, and responses by the company. So the company has provided clarifications, explanations, say, on the valuations where there were concerns about that. The transaction does not involve the sale of DM Medicity, which is an Indian arm of the company, so there was some confusion on that. The non-complete clauses the medical value travel agreement, so they provide clarifications on that as well, and the promoter family participation. So I think the street seems to be quite enthused with the fact that the dividend would probably be on the cards. It will also be an important component because the promoters plan to fund the acquisition or their part of the acquisition from proceeds of this dividend also. And separately, there is some amount of uh, maybe assuaging of concerns about all of uh, which had come up post the transaction which had taken place. Right, Ekta, thanks a lot for that. Meanwhile, just keep an eye on a couple of...